You said he just teleports? What's so powerful about him? All right, I got you. So Spider-Man was sneaking into this building, right? That's when he the spot dead in the motherfucker, right? He's like, don't throw up. Don't throw up in my mask. He's like, okay, it's the spot himself who's dead. But that shouldn't be possible as you see his head and his heart with these holes in them, right? He's been killed a bunch of times. His body slowly dissolves and reconstitutes in that wacky dimension where his powers come from. But that process hasn't even started, and I doubt it's going to. Whoever or whatever I'm dealing with is powerful enough to kill someone who can't die. So they found the body this morning in the dumpster, right? And Spider-Man like, you sure this is him? And he's like, well, we can't get no fingerprints, but look at him. Spider-Man said, except the spy can't die. He's been killed before, even dismembered, and he comes right back. Mind if uh, I check his energy signature? I won't touch anything. She's like, I'm not supposed to let you in here, but go ahead. So he get to scanning them, right? And he's like, the body energy reading does match the spots, but at a much lower intensity. Maybe it fades after death, like body heat. Maybe, but I want to consult with the expert on exotic energy. She's like, sure, bring the Avengers. Let's have a party. It's just my job on the line, but who cares about that? Spider-Man was like, calm down. You'll be fine. I only need one guy, and I'll go to him. He go meets up with Adam Brashear, a.k.a. Blue Marvel. He really don't even know Blue Marvel like that, but because he knows uh, Monica Rambeau, he's going to help Spider-Man. He said, I'm happy you brought me these readings. These, there is something off in these readings. Just give me a minute. And if you didn't know, uh, Blue Marvel's located. His headquarters is at the bottom of the ocean. He tells us, as I suspected, it's hard to isolate because the spot's power signature is steeped into extra dimensional energy. But this man is not from our world, Earth 616. He's from an alternate Earth uh, reality. The body in the morgue only has a fraction of the power of our world's Jonathan Ohm. Perhaps why he could be killed. So it turns into a multi-dimensional murder mystery. Spider-Man asks his ass, did he want to team up? He's like, nah, I got some business in the negative zone, which they've been hitting at for a minute for him. Like, go ahead and give us that comic about what the fuck going on with the uh, negative zone, Blue Marvel. Anyway, Blue Marvel sends his ass through a portal back to Central Park. And now Spider-Man on his way to go look for the 616 uh, spot. He finds his ass, right? And they get to fighting and come to find out. Spot is the motherfucker that killed the other spot. And his motherfucker's smarter now. He says that uh, at any given time, his brain was full of spots, more holes than Swiss cheese. But a funny thing happened recently. Humpty Dumpty's mind got put back together. You're used to fighting a man with the mental capacity of a squirrel. But today, you face a god. Spider-Man told his ass, Look, because your ass got smarter, don't make you a god. He's like, oh, I always was smart. I just couldn't focus with my with parts of my brain always being shunted by the dark force dimension. But when my spot pattern shifted so none of them were in my head, it was like waking up. First thing I did was decide to stay that way, which meant reducing how much dark force energy I had. Turns out you can't put it just anywhere, but I knew it fit me. So you know what I did? I found the dimension where I never became the spot and gave that doctor on my power and then, you know, killed him so he couldn't give it back. I knew it. That's a confession. Maybe you're not as focused as you think. I only knew he'd do it a dozen more times tops. And then I'll be okay. I'll be a demigod. But I'll be able to control my power enough so I'll never get wacky again. Worth it, right? Wrong! Besides, you're hurting the entire fabric of the multiverse. Yeah, right. Who told you that? Even if they are you, and even if they are a jerk. Alright, so you're obviously going to keep coming after me. You're annoyingly hard to kill, and I'm on the clock. So let's make a deal. You'd like to fix your biggest mistakes. Time's just another dimension. I can take you back, let you change anything you want. You can save everyone you lost, repair your relationships, and nobody decent gets so much as a scratch. I, I, no! He tried to thwip him and shit. He's like, you're wrong about the universe. I can't tell you if it bends towards justice or whatever direction it, uh, this arc goes. Because Spider-Man told him you can't mess with time. It's just going to fuck up shit. I keep forgetting you're a veteran of time travel and multiverses in parallel world. Ha! Ah, quit! So he keep kicking his ass through a portal. So he sends his ass through a whole uh, dimension, right? Then his ass get thwipped up by electric shit, right? And he's like, oh, come on, not you. As you see who he talking about. You remember me, huh? Good. Then maybe you'll back off and I won't uh, have to hurt you because I don't want to. But anyone who comes after Dr. Holmes has to come through me. And that will hurt a lot. As you see, it's Insomniac Spider-Man. And I can continue this story if you want me to in the next video.